In this video, we'll study a problem that is kinematics in one dimension. We have two cars that are on a highway, a straight level highway, and uh, traveling in the same direction. And I would suggest that you start your problem solving by drawing a picture. Make a quick sketch of what is the, the situation. <coughs> so we have uh, the two cars, and perhaps I should label them here. Uh, car A is our car that's in front, and car B is our trailing car, but catching up because uh, car B has uh, a speed of 70 miles per hour, and car uh, A is uh, 65 miles per hour, both traveling towards the east. What's the length of time if car B does not make any changes, car A does not make any changes? What's the time until the front bumper of car B touches the back bumper of car A? Those two uh, pieces of the cars are separated by 300 feet. Well, I'm going to convert to the metric system. I'm going to give you a little practice in converting to the metric system. 65 miles per hour. Our conversion factor is 0.447 meters per second for one mile per hour, so 29.1 meters per second. That's our uh, speed for car A. And 70 miles per hour with the same conversion factor, you should practice it yourself. Uh, multiplied by 0.447, you should come up with roughly 31.3 meters per second. The 300 feet also needs to be a metric number to do this problem. So some more practice with conversions. 300 feet, uh, 12 inches for one foot. That will give us some number of inches. And then our definition, 2.54 centimeters is one inch. Uh, that'll cancel off the inch units, and we're left with centimeter 9,140. Let's put that into meters, since we have our speed in meters per second. Our distance is more convenient if it's also in meters, so 91.4 meters. Um, so car B is approaching car A. If we would uh, take the view of a passenger in car A and we ignore special relativity at these low speeds we can do that. We can uh, find the rate of approach for car B. It's the difference in their two speeds so 31.3 minus 29.1. Uh, car B is approaching car A at 2.2 meters per second. How should we uh, find the time until car B touches car A? Well car B is approaching, it's covering this 91.4 meters at a rate of 2.2 meters per second. So distance equals rate times time. And 91.4 divided by the 2.2 leaves us with 41.5 seconds. Car B has ample time to make some adjustment, um, change lanes, slow down, uh, whatever is appropriate. And now let's go a little uh, a different question. Suppose car A is only traveling at 45 miles per hour at much slower speed than the same uh, speed for car B, the same separation in the two vehicles. Well, first I'll change the 45 miles per hour into meters per second. That becomes 20.1 meters per second. Now car B is approaching car A at 11.2 meters per second. And again, uh, distance equals rate times time. 91.4 meters, the distance, equals the closing rate. 11.2 meters per second multiplied by time. And now car B uh, only has 8.2 seconds to change something. So this is uh, you know, a safety consideration. As you drive, I'd recommend you be alert and watch out for slow vehicles. You have much less time to uh, make a change if the difference in speeds is significant. Um, for some more videos in physics and astronomy, you can uh, go to these websites. The videos are indexed here. Everything's free. There's no registration. I do not collect email or personal names. Um, so I hope you keep practicing uh, your physics problems and uh, Think about uh, problem situations. Make a little sketch as you start solving a problem.